Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Drupal G Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle G, and with me is host of Media Gaming. We record this podcast live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, or anywhere you can find a podcast. You can also watch this video podcast over on youtube.com slash drip jeep. Drip, this is a weird episode this week, because if you haven't noticed, man, we're not live right now. Or we are, are not. We? Or are we? <laughs> or are we? We might be. Wink, wink. wink I don't wink. know. Uh, uh, we are yeah. live. We are, we are just secretly live. We are technically live right now. We are actually live over on our Discord channel. So it's a privatized video for Discord people. However, this is happening in the past. It's actually July 11th. I Dude, drip. Everything I, about this. I is am just at insane. the beach right. I'm sit. Oh, I can't. I just thought about this. I'm sitting on the beach right now. You are right now. Sipping a pina colada. I'm still with here. Mrs. Jeep and my family on yeah. the beaches of Delaware slash Maryland. Uh, but actually, in reality, I'm here in Illinois still. You're over in West Virginia. And this episode is being pre-recorded to a live audience. Yeah, only for our that. Discord we people. We don't do that a lot. No, it's not. Because well, like I just said, Drip, I'm too. going away for a while. Right. So we have to do... We, I figured, you know, we're normally like last week, we put up a, uh, a Drip and Jeep Selects, which for right this second is irrelevant. But for the future, when you're seeing this episode, yes. you saw a Drip and Jeep Selects episode. And uh, we're like, I don't know, we could do another Selects episode. Or, or we could go ahead... And pre-record something and make it a little surprise for you guys. Because uh, again, it's not live. Maybe we'll do this as a um, what's that called when it's not live on YouTube, but it's like a little chat and everything, um, a presentation or what's it oh, called? The, uh, uh, yeah, that thing. Yeah, we uh, could do that. And then maybe yeah. if I'm if I could take some time off the, from the from my sun tanning, uh, you know, to uh, <laughs> to to stay in the live chat for this episode. I don't know. We'll see about that. I'll, I'll probably tell you right now in the chat if I'm sun tanning or not. Um, but yeah, this is weird. This is very meta for me. I wasn't even thinking about this. I know, right this man. I don't even, like, I don't even know how to, I'm glad we are doing it live. I'm glad there are some people here though. Yeah. We have Thank some you people guys in here. For, Thank you. Uh, from the discord for hanging out. Do appreciate that. I did not want to do this. Not live. I, we, we've, do, how many times have we done it actually not live and then oh, just like, posted the podcast once? Less, maybe, maybe once. That was, and I was like, we both got done. We were like, that was weird. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Weird. I remember that. I remember that. But I don't ever remember doing that again, so it had to be only once. Yeah, yeah, I think it was that one time. But yeah, it, it's much better to have have people here, you know, share the experience. It's great for it's sure, lovely. for sure. Love it. Yeah. So thank you guys for our Discord people who are hanging out and uh, members. That's something we're talking about right now. So if you're audio listener, this isn't technically relevant to you. However, um, it could it is, be. Oh, by the way, this episode about Switch stuff. We'll get to that in a second. But right now, we're going to push uh, our YouTube right now and our membership. So we just became partners on YouTube. Thank you to everybody. Do I have a sound effect? I got that one. That you know the the, the draft oh, chime. Oh, is, oh wait, keep talking. Wait, do, you, do you have a sound effect? Uh, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh -oh. can, can Drip get a sound effect off? I don't know. I'll just keep talking. Uh, this what was I saying about my, oh, membership? So we are partners on YouTube now. So that means that we have opened up the ability for you guys to support us via fan funding. So if you guys want to give leave us a super chat, if you guys want to uh, give us five bucks a month, actually more importantly is a membership. And if you become a member of Drip Jeep Podcast, you are getting an extra podcast every month. A podcast that is only for members, not for people on uh, anywhere else. Only for members. And uh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Beautiful. Drips our sound effect, man. So, yes. so if you want to become a member, please do so. You get an extra uh, podcast a month, uh, starting out, and then in the future we're gonna we're gonna up it to more than once a month. So we'll see. We're gonna see what the response is first with memberships. But yeah, please join our members if you so if you feel so inclined if you're audio side of things consider subscribing on youtube as well as becoming a member so you get that extra podcast per month it's going to be cool uh appreciate you guys and if you're not another stuff yeah it, we are and if you're not a member no big deal we understand the world's in a crisis or at least our country for that matter as far as money we know we got no money ain't, ain't, ain't nobody got no money uh mm -hmm. but yeah if you got some money send it our way we'd appreciate it gets get you some extra content per month um, but yeah, this episode is actually about a legit thing, technically, not really though. It's not uh, legit. A, a legit switch topic that is not legit in its authenticity. Uh, authenticity. However, we're going to spin this to make it a really fun thing here. But before we do that, Drip, what is your beer of the week this oh, week? Oh, I got to get it out. I don't even know what it is. It's just, it was in my refrigerator. I don't know exactly what it is. So you don't know what's in your refrigerator. Is that what you just told me? That you just got something from your fridge that you have no idea what it is because you didn't put it there? <clears throat> Oh, you did. Okay. So what do you got? No, I, did not, I did not put it there. Oh, but, you didn't? Uh, 
this is a vi- Vizzy? A Vizzy, Vizzy. hard I, seltzer. I've, heard, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. It's a strawberry kiwi, hard seltzer. Um, there were other flavors up there. This is the one I chose because I like strawberries and I also like kiwis. And when you put those together, I think that's also a nice flavor. I'm a fan of that. So that's what I got. And I don't know what it tastes like, but I'm going to tell you. Yeah, give it, give right it a now. sip there, Drip. What's it taste I'm going like? to guess. Here's my guess. Strawberries and kiwis. Okay. <laughs> bold, bold, uh, bold prediction. Oh, it's actually really good. Is it? Yeah, like for, yeah, it's got a lot of flavor. I, I always feel like seltzers have like really muted flavors. Yeah, it has a lot of flavor actually, and it's got a lot of kiwi too. It's very good actually. Very good. Uh, my beer of the week is not a bush peach, although that's what I've been drinking for you guys. This beer of the week. Cannot be drunk, drink, drank, drank. What's the word? Drunken, drunken. <laughs> no, this beer cannot the week be drunken. That's definitely comes it. in a can for you, audio listeners. I would shake it if uh, if that's coming through. I don't know. Um, what is that? This, my friend, I've had this for <gasps> m- a months. This, my friend, is a Jelly Belly draft beer. What? Je- uh, jelly beans. Okay. What? Yes. Leaving this special. I was waiting for a special occasion to bring this out for beer of the week because we just we bought it back recently. Uh, and I felt like this was a perfect time to do it. So uh, I need a knife to open this up because it doesn't like there's no real there's a tab, but it's a fake tab. As you can see, yeah, right it doesn't there. open. It doesn't it's just open. Like stamped on. Uh, yeah. So like, I think I need to pl- with this the knife, plastic. Please. Careful with the knife. I'm a grown ass adult, my friend. I can use just knives be if I want. Just be careful, please. I'm, I'm being careful. OK, so I got the plastic off. It's been unsheathed. Let's go ahead. It looks like it twists off here. It pulls. Yes. It pulls off. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my god, they're like little babies. <laughs> they're small little babies. <laughs> look at that. It's got look at it. Like, okay, it's, open oh, it. Try it. Try it. All this. Open okay. it. Open it. Open it. it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Knife again. Let's try this. Be I don't careful. know. Be careful. Be careful. No be idea be what careful. the taste's like. Listen, man, I can do this. Just be um, careful. I'm that's all I'm asking. Oh god, they stink. Oh, they smell like yeast. Ew. Oh, it's horrible. Ew, like old bread. Oh god, it stinks so bad. I don't want to put this in my mouth. No, come on. Is this on. a joke? I'm, I'll tell you where I got this in a second, where I got this. I didn't buy this. You, I'm not crazy. Eat it. Oh, it's, Eat it. it smells like BO and and yeast. Do it. Oh, my God. Do it. Oh, God. Do it. Okay. Okay. A little bit of a different face there. Yeah. Okay. He's thinking. He's thinking. He's not that upset. He's not that upset. He might be happy. Verdict, right. please. It smells like like dirty butt. Okay, it's 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 nice. it smells like yeast, and it's not pleasant. It is actually repulsive. I mm. want to. I'm gonna put that far away. Now, when I put it in my mouth, which I should not have done, and tasted this thing, <laughs> it tastes like sweet jelly beans. Everything you just said. But... The only thing I want to say is that's what she said. Higher <laughs> sense. Yes, yes. Uh, however, tasting them, they're very sweet. Tastes like jelly beans. Um, there is this weird aroma in my mouth. Even still, I'm like you know when you're at, at like your tenth beer of the night and you didn't drink any water and you know what your breath smells like or like, yep. That that is sure exactly do. that's that, that's my mouth right now. Um, no, I only had one though. I imagine if I eat more of them, it'd be worse. Uh, yeah. But I mean, it's, maybe it's, it's like um, a... yeah. Aftertaste not good. Smell. Throw it out the window. Get this out of my house. Um, but as far as taste is fine. It is it's. It's really not that bad. Um, it, they did a good job emulating beer. Okay, you and have the to worst bring those. kind of beer. Oh, I trust me. You I, have to bring as those soon as, as soon as I saw that they're coming, in, they are in little individual oh, packages. Yeah. I'm like, like oh, sure. this will be be easy to bring. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we're gonna bring these jelly bellies and make probably make each other eat them or something because they're, they're or smell them. I, we're not gonna make them eat each other eat them. We're gonna make each other smell them. Or we should um, find some other kind of like really. What are those ones where you get like, okay, it could be barf or it could be. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I've seen those. You get one of the other. It's either barf or, I don't know, tangerines. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll see if we can get a hand, hand uh, get a, a hold of one of those. But yeah. Sorry for the a little bit long beer of the week this week. But, you know, this is a special week. We're doing a little it special. Is. It is. Fun episode for you guys. Or totally original content. <clears throat> okay, Drip. Uh, first thing up, uh, we got a leak. And I, I have the link here. I haven't even opened it yet. Let's open this yeah, link. Yeah, I have it. So it's we, from... Yeah, we got a leak. I actually, we I was going to read this ahead of time. I haven't even got a chance to even look at this. So I'm literally in the dark on this. 
Uh, besides what our community member, uh, caffeinated diabetic, or a friend of the stream as well, caffeinated yes. went, if, uh, went ahead and, and uh, sent us this link. And uh, I don't know, man. So you've read this already. Yeah, I looked into it too. I, I, I give us it's it's, it's about the switch, you or I mean, switch to you or what the switch wonder even. I that's what that that's what they're saying. This is called. This is that. Let's start here. Mm -hmm. This is garbage. This is absolute shit. This is three, not real. three weeks in a row. We're talking about Switch Pro stuff and all of it's garbage. <laughs> But you know, it's still. Uh, there fun there have been some actual. We we could talk about. There are actual rumors. No, we're we'll not talking about those. For another time. Like, yeah. yeah, but there no, but are actual. I was thinking about. We got a, a fun spin. We got a fun spin on this. Um, episode okay, so this particular league, uh, the, it, it's called the Switch Wonder, just like Mario Wonder, uh, which you know, they, they made Mario sixty four when they put out the Nintendo sixty four. So it's not like it hasn't been done before, but. I don't, I don't think that's what this is going to be called. Launch date. Here you go. Uh, October 20th, 2023. Is that so? Three that's months from now. $400. There will be a 64 gigabyte, $400 version. And there will be a $500, uh, 256 gigabyte configuration, which that makes sense. Let's go from 64 to 200, like nothing in between there. I, whatever. That doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, that's the least weird thing about this. The five, I mean. Oh, but the $500 <laughs> one comes with Super Mario Wonder. No, oh, but, not, always, but not the, but not the, right. not the cheaper one, just right. the $500. Because Nintendo one. loves right. to just give you free games that are brand new because they do that ever. And only in one of the consoles, not both of them. Okay, right. Sure. Uh, Super Mario Wonder will be Nintendo's first native, native 4K game. Also bullshit. All right. Super. Uh, here we go. Uh, Nintendo Switch Wonder Console. The Joy-Cons will have Hall Effect thumbstick. <laughs> that's the most believ believable thing I've heard. No, I, that's I, still not here. believable. I don't think anybody's going to adopt that yet. Maybe. I, 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 I could be wrong. Nintendo, Nintendo maybe because they need it badly. I, uh, I, I actually feel strongly about this. I actually think strongly, all jokes aside, we're going to get the Hall Effect sticks in the next Switch Console. I really do. Okay. Well, maybe. 900p OLED screen, touch screen, uh, front facing camera, and another one on the back. So two cameras and 900 uh, 900p OLED screen. Yeah. Well, okay. So 900p makes sense. It's not 1080p. Uh, it's it's higher than the Steam Deck, which is important to know. Is yeah, the Steam Deck's um, what eight. 800p so it'll yeah. probably be a smaller screen um at a higher resolution so and with an oled that actually makes a lot of sense to me because it's not going so high to where the battery life will be garbage and it's not so low of an upgrade that people are like but it's not it's not this it's only the same resolution as the last one it's not an upgrade Boo -hoo. okay so it's you're, you're shutting those people up and you're also getting something that is a little bit of an upgrade uh visually so that's cool Okay. I believe I believe that. I mean, I also believe that um, you know maybe one day God will come down from the sky and prove us all wrong. But you know, it's, you know, I don't know. To this point, I don't think that's going to happen. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so th this is where it starts getting. This is where it starts getting into the woods. Not that we're not already deep yeah. in the forest at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where was I? Where was I? Okay, the switch dock works without the switch connected. So just. As the dock itself, as it sits there by itself. Now, hold on. We're not even talking about your stuff yet. We're talking about the dock itself just sits there and works. No games, yeah. no nothing. But they're saying it only works uh, for you to look at your games. You can go to the eShop, uh, and you can use apps like YouTube and Hulu. So it's restricted. That would be, which, which would, I mean... We're talking about Nintendo, so that would make a lot of sense. They do they do tend to restrict stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, but they, they restrict stuff, but that's they would never. All that is they just would, so weird. All they would so never. Weird. They would never say, "Look, here's your console, your brand new console that in this mode doesn't do majority of the things that you expect it to do. It only yeah. does some of the things." Okay. That, no, no, no way in absolute hell. When you can for four hundred bucks, we're in a PS five digital. It's four hundred bucks, and that does everything. You yeah. want well, it to okay, do? Okay, well, it'll do no. it. You just have to put your switch back in it. This is just no, saying, no. like, the dock get, itself will it. do that without the switch. Okay. No. no. Now, there's more. Now, <laughs> the switch 
The switch can connect wirelessly to the dock. So we're talking about a Wii U situation here. And that, that's where we're going to kind of take this as we go on uh, with the rest of the episode here. Because that's an interesting thing because Jeeves has been talking about that. I like the idea. We're going to get into that. But it's saying that you can connect wirelessly to the dock. So you don't need to actually put it in. You can actually just use the switch, connect to the dock, go to the TV. Which that would be cool. Uh, and then this is the thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> new Pro Controller has a small touch screen on it. On the new Pro Controller. A tiny touch screen. For what fucking reason? For I don't know. Ac- accidental misclicks. Yeah. Like, let, me ask, let me ask you this real quick. As far as a, a screen on a controller goes, how big can you actually... How big do you think you can get that? I think you, a, can, you can probably get it... Um, you know, not, if it's not a Wii U gamepad. Oh, yeah, right, right. No, no, no. Like, uh, kind of like the... So that if you look at the PS5 controller, that's not a touchscreen, but it is a touch-sensitive pad on it. You have it right there. And what what, what would you say on that thing? Right, give, give me some, like, thumb estimates of, like, how many inches you think they could fit a screen onto that size of that touchpad on the PS5 controller drip. Inch and a half? An inch by, and a half? In, by two maybe. inches? Inch and a half by two inches, or, or maybe one inch by two inches, because it's like I mean, a long there you go. There's right? my thumb. I mean, that's that's true. I would say not... long ways, two inches, right? Something like that. Yeah, a little bit longer, maybe on the top part. I don't know. It's not big. It's not big. I just, what is the point of a screen like that? I think that they a touch thought it screen, would... a touch screen, not a touch sensitive pad, a touch screen. Yeah, a touch I... screen. So you're literally like. Touching certain things on a screen that big, like how accurate are you going to be? Like me and my fat finger is not going to be able to. Like no, I'm sorry. There's no way. You have fat, dude. I have sausages. Okay, on I, my hands, I got. Okay, I have big fingers. Yes, they don't. Oh, do. They don't we'll, touch. We'll do, a, we'll do a finger comparison when I come we'll, by we'll, next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me, mine are bigger. I got big ass. My palms are big and my fingers are even thicker. It's ridiculous. Okay. Me, they're not fat. They're just thick. Anyway, chunky. They're chunky. Yeah, chunky, okay. big bones. So that that is, I don't know, that doesn't make any sense to me at all. Uh, the cartridges, so the OG Switch cartridges can be inserted into the Switch Wonder for verification, but uh, it requires an internet connection to download a modified version of the game. So you can, it's backwards compatible, but your your actual cartridges, they they go in to basically verify that you have the game. And then you download, which are so you're getting digital copies anyway. So there goes your, there goes your physical media. It's worthless. It's made to be digital again. Are they implying that there is no physical cartridges uh, supported on the system besides I, the, the the download of your old Switch no, games? No, 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 no. I think the I think that <clears throat> it doesn't say anything about the new ones, but they're just saying old games, Switch games. You will insert them, and it will read it and recognize it, and then download a modified version from the if internet for there, you to play. If there is a cartridge port on the console there will be cartridges for the system period it, there is no way yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, they yeah. simply put a, a, a basically what it is is an expansion slot to play your old games on a cart on a console just for yeah bringing, and that's, just for yeah, backwards compatibility stupid. but it again would, would, yeah all this is stupid <laughs> all or not like we said before all or nothing is basically with yeah that, with uh with uh support there so yeah in <clears> this in this world yes i'm guaranteeing that they would still have the same type of cartridges yeah, it have to be. But they would have different things on them, obviously. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Wake up, Drew. Okay. Wake up. I'm awake. I'm fine. I'm awake. Okay. So, Tears of the Kingdom and Pokemon come with a day one patch that improve performance and reduce loading times. Can I interject again here, Drip? Please. That, that right, th- all this stuff. Okay, Pokemon. <laughs> I get this. All this stuff, I get. Okay, a lot. Of, obviously, it's. St- I still don't believe it, but I could get the logic system and all of it. Maybe not the cartridge thing, but besides that, it's when you get to this point. It's the specific announce the specific uh, point out of Tears of the Kingdom and Pokemon because those are the two games people right now in the Switch community are really asking to be better. In performance, because like older Spitz games don't really need it that much. I mean, like look at Mario Odyssey and Breath, Mario Odyssey in particular. I mean, no one's asking for an upgrade on that. It looks great. It runs great on the Switch. Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Pokemon. These are the games that don't look the best. So just to say that only those two games, not to what well, they to be more realistic, they could have said 
your Switch games will get a day your first party Switch games will get a day one patch. That's more realistic to say yeah. than only these two games, the ones that yeah, everyone's that talking doesn't make about. Sense. No, they would not do that for just for two. Only games. two, yeah. There there would be way more. If they were doing it, they would have a bunch of stuff probably ready to go. Especially yes. since they're going to be dropping this and it would yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, but they they're saying that for Tears of the Kingdom the loading time between shrines and the open world are completely removed. So if you walk in and out of a shrine instead of having a loading thing, it's just straight in, straight out. So there's that. I, do I? I'm. 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 What? It's just ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Pokemon is gonna. It sounds like Pokemon will get up to uh, a steady 15 frames per second. <laughs> That's a joke. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. So that's um, basically it. That's basically the, the leak here. Where's uh, the, so, what's the sources? actual what's leaks? The sources? Uh, dude, it was on, it's on 4chan, dude. There's, I'm, say, well, is, I'm saying, well, I'm saying, was it somebody, there's no sources there. They're just trying to leak information. Quote unquote, just trying to leak information. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, okay. I, don't, I don't see a source. I don't see anything no, like that. Literally here. every single one of these things we've said at one point in time, besides like the bundle thing, which is just silly. Um, we know that ain't happening. It, it, like everything at one point in time we've said oh yeah bundle pro, pro, pro controller um you know my whole idea with this Wii U switch thing which we'll get to in a second you know that's basically this whole idea we literally can guess any of this stuff this is there's nothing here that's like oh this is where you know this is legit leaking information they actually know oh, no, something this here. is like no, i mean all this is basically this is, you can guess videos any of this stuff. i've made twice this is i've yeah. made this video twice of what it could be some of this stuff was on there yeah is there anything but, else you want to go over? Yeah, uh, not about. with this. We're going to move on. I do want to say that there are some actual leaks, uh, some credible leaks from factories talking about metal chassis. That's a thing. I I've said that I've said that in the past before. I've said well th that was leaked, although or that was that was like rumored way back in the day. Although like before it, I made my first what the Switch Pro is going to be, the, yeah. the uh, aluminum or magnesium alloy chassis. Yes. That was like the thing so that people talked about for let a while. Me tell, let me tell you, because one, you might think that Nintendo will go as cheap as possible, which they will, and um, they, will, they will never go metal, which I may have even said in the past before. It's possible I've said that in the past, but we, time moves on here, and I'm thinking about it. My uncle gave me for Christmas recently, uh, like last Christmas or two Christmases ago, a, I used it on stream once for a karaoke stream. Remember the karaoke stream, stream where I did this Christmas? I read off my, I read off this tablet. I read the chat off the tablet. And oh yeah, karaoke. that little tablet. Yeah, yeah. So that that tablet came from my uncle. It's like eighty bucks from Walmart. It's just yeah. you know, it's garbage Walmart tablet, and it does the job for what you're trying to use it for, right? Uh, which is next to nothing. But you know, I use it as like basically a little scroll to read chat off of, right? That thing has a nice, a decent screen on it. The the viewing viewing angles are terrible. But for 80 bucks, it gives you a whole tablet, but most notably, metal chassis. Hmm. So well, it's just so, let me think about it. It's not it's not that much metal. It's just a no. It's not. And, and it's I mean, aluminum, yeah, I mean plastic I arguably is more durable than something like that on my tablet because if I I, I was actually gonna grab it and show you, but it's it, it's this hassle. Um it, it it if you drop that thing, it would dent. You it, it would. It's thin metal, it will dent. If a yeah. kid drop that Nintendo chooses plastic because it is while it's cheap and flimsy, it is durable. Plastic is durable. Okay. Yeah. Instead and of snapping, it, it just kind of, yeah. Yeah. Or instead, instead of like bending and and, and, and mold, you know, it just kind of either cracks open altogether, uh, or but it'll, 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 it keeps whatever, its yeah. it keeps its shape even right. though it gets cracked. Was, whereas like metal would bend. So it right. is. There's an argument to be had to say Nintendo won't use metal because of the kid a aspect of it. There's Nintendo's handheld consoles; they need to be kid proof. And a plastic one is kid proof, whereas metal might not be because of dents and everything. Uh, shock absorption might not be good as that, uh, good at that. But that's actually po all that to say. It's actually possible it could be metal. I think it could be. Yeah, metal. I mean, it's possible. I mean, this this sounds credible. I haven't looked into it a ton, but from what I'm gathering, uh, this leak is coming from the same place that the original leaks uh, from the first Switch came from that were right. Same place. Connection with the, a factory that Nintendo uses. So yeah, could be possible, but that is not what we're talking about. We're talking about no. this and how we, we have made, we we both talked about what the Switch could be. I've made two videos on it. I just referenced both of those right now. 
you had a great idea, and it was, I, what was it, two, three months ago, I think we really talked about it oh, on this podcast. I think more was than it? that. I think okay. so. Uh, you're, you're probably right. It was probably... 2022, I think. I think I think that's maybe more, more likely. I don't know. Regardless, it was a good idea. Really liked the idea. So I want to go over that because it kind of some of this was in there. A lot of your idea was more of the and you know I love the idea. A lot of it was the switch kind of doing what the Wii U did as far as the gamepad was concerned, where you could right. use it in both places in that manner and what you could do with the gamepad i will say and i'll let you take it from here i will say the wii u was a little bit ahead of its time kind of a prototype for what the switch ended up being it didn't quite do what they wanted it to do but it did more things than it's given credit for that's for sure that thing does a lot it does a lot it does, and uh, actually, more recently, Mrs. Jeep has been playing a lot of Wind Waker, which you can see the thump, the fingerprints all over my Panda Wii U tablet here. Mm-hmm. Mrs. G- Mrs. Jeep's been playing. The crap I saw out of when Wind we Waker. were, yeah, when we were setting up. I saw her back there playing Wind Waker. Yeah, I was going to so, yell at her, but I didn't. Yeah, uh, and it's it's making me kind of rethink, uh, not rethink. It's making me think again about the Wii U and my idea, and this kind of sparks this episode plus this leak, which kind of feeds this episode to happen. Um, yeah, so. What, what what's what are we talking about? <laughs> I've lost my train of thought here. Uh, explain it to me. Explain to me it's my idea. Your your idea for this right. switch. I I want it from from start to finish. I'm gonna have questions along the way because I, I really want I want to get this idea completely out yeah. here so, so we let, can let's, understand it all completely. Let's get my idea out there officially in an episode format. We can refer to this episode anytime we say what's Jeeb's idea. What's his idea about this this next gen switch thing? And hopefully we don't have to wait too long to find out if my idea is right or wrong. But in the time being, we we don't have information any any real solid information. You should know that for the past three weeks, no real solid information about the next switch. So here is my idea of how we can take the idea of the Wii U and take it to the Switch Two story time with Jeep. Here we go. The Wii U did a lot of things really nice. Okay, the things that it did nice. They, I don't want to interrupt really, you, but I could have done an awesome sound effect right there. If you just I know. I, I, I heard like a chime. I heard like a story time Jeep. Um, oh, that would have like, been great. Oh, we almost had it. Yeah. Would have been a good one. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, Drew. Stop this. This is a podcast, not a stream. Um, so, so drip. My idea. Yeah. The, what the Wii U did well was the fact that you could play um, your controller, I should say, your controller is also a screen that had game UI elements on it. So when you're playing your game, there's no need to really pause it unless you have to, because you can just look at the screen that's in your hands already. You know, for Wind Waker, for example, you need to get your hook shot out, and yeah. instead of just pausing, you had menus. You could you use it for men- menus, maps, whatever. There was always an extra thing. Yeah. In some games, it, some games like Star Fox Zero, like you looked at that screen more than you looked at the actual screen. Which yeah. was stupid. That was really dumb. But yeah. Um, so my idea basically basically takes this Wii U and what it does well and what the Switch did well and turn it up a notch on steroids and make what is going to be maybe, potentially, the Switch to U. And here's what it's going to be. It is going to be a dock. Can we call start- the Switch U2? U2. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yes, we can. The Switch U2 will feature a dock. We're going to start there. The dock is not just the regular switch dock. If you open up your switch dock to modify it, you know there's just a small circuit board with a couple ports in it, and that's it. There's no yeah, nothing not real on it. There. Not a lot going on it. The switch to U2 dock will feature it's a actual, beautiful day. A beautiful day. A beautiful day. Uh, it'll feature actual hardware in the, the switch itself, in the dock itself. Or excuse me, drips distracting me. This is hilarious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, the Switch 3 U2 will feature hardware in the dock that's going to allow you to play games without your actual Switch tablet itself. Because let me make it clear here, Nintendo is not abandoning the Switch tablet. In fact, the old Switch tablet will be backwards compatible with the new console, right? Hear me out. The Wii U, here we go, it came with this. This is stupid. This is a Wi-Fi screen with buttons. This is dumb. That's what Nintendo got wrong with this thing. This thing, you can't take it more than 20 feet away from your console. That's the worst that, part about it. That's the worst that, part about it. 
because of the Wi-Fi limitations. The revo- revo- uh, re- re- um, it needs Wi-Fi. The Switch got it right, where it's a battery. It's got a, a whole unit. The, the unit is the Switch, and the dock is nothing. Basically, I guess to, to make this go a little faster, because I, I don't know, I, I could ramble about this for hours. Like in my latest video I posted, is 20 minutes long. You know, I can ramble for hours. Let's just say this. Your Switch tablet, the tablet, uh, the mobile portion of the Switch U2 is almost identical. There's really very little difference between the tablet that you're the next gen tablet and the old gen tablet. This is the regular switch, 2017 switch. Uh, the real difference is that dock. That dock is going to unlock a bunch of capabilities. Number one, it's going to enable a feature where your old switch tablet or the new switch tablet that comes with your system is going to wirelessly connect to your dock. Okay, so that way you can use your Switch tablet as your controller with a screen like the Wii U and play games on your TV. You're going to be maxed at 1080p. You're not going to get 4K of that way, but, but you're, you're getting get, you're getting a second screen. You're getting a second screen to play with. Um, and, We're and also going back to like DS, 3DS, yeah. and yeah, Wii U. And you, and you don't need uh, the tablet to play. You can also just play with the controller and the dock. Your tablet is being used by somebody else. Even it doesn't even matter. They can play games on their tablet, uh, but you're playing on the dock itself. So basically, it's like two in one almost. Well, which is something that the Wii U kind of did, sort of. You could move what was on your screen to the tablet. If somebody else wanted to watch TV, you could yes. play on your tablet alone, as long as you weren't leaving the room. You couldn't leave with it, but as long as you were sitting right there, you could still use the Wii U's tablet yeah. as a game screen. So it essentially was just a terrible looking Switch that didn't yes. switch. It was it was a really bad Switch Lite. That's so when, you, when you're using a tablet, with the, with the, Wii, the Switch U2, when you're using the tablet, and you're playing games with it on the TV, and you're getting that second screen, the experience is going to be minimally different, almost not different at all, than your current experience with your hardware. You're going to get the same kind of resolution, same kind of frame rates, maybe slightly upgraded due to some new, uh, some, uh, some uh, uh, what's the augmented reality? No, uh, lost it. Uh, the- some uh, improvements via software, you know, uh, upscale. D, like the D, uh, DLSS. DLSS. Yeah, if some 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 software upscaling might help a little bit, but it's going to be largely the same experience. Here's where the game changer happens, though. You take your tablet, you pop it into your dock. Now the two of them work in synchronously, and now you grab your Pro Controller and you have a system that is capable of modern day graphics, not quite of the level of a PS5 or an Xbox Series X or even maybe not even an Xbox Series S in some cases. But it is cu- capable of playing these games that we'll we call it PS4 like, which, Pro. Sure, it's just capable, for argument's sake. We'll just call it, it that. It's going to enable Nintendo to have more hardware, to, uh, more power to work with, and third-party developers to be able to port their games to the Switch, like Jedi Fallen Order or any of these other games out there. Red Dead that can't be played in Switch. Now they can. They can port their game, and they're going to run to steady frame rate with when you dock it. When you dock it, that's the real key. Has here, to be though. docked. Has to be docked. So what happens when it's not docked? Is my question. The, the we games, these are, not, games, the games are not. The games are not supported. And and here's not why. That's even not even in handheld. And here's not why that only in handheld. Ooh, that's why, scary. And here's why. The, here's how that idea is not crazy. Well, it you could you could stream it. You could stream it. Well, I guess <laughs> maybe you couldn't. I don't know. This is where it gets a little fuzzy. My idea. It's, it's, it's not a perfect idea. I need. Um, I need to be able to play all the games. See, that's where. The, this is where you've lost me. I yeah. need to be able to play. The switch needs to switch. I do like the fact that because this is the thing. Well, this okay, is what okay, I okay. Said. Let, let, let me. Okay, May, so when it's docked, you get better performance. When it's undocked, you will get worse performance. But it, at least, and that allows the developers to port their games over. The Switch tablet is not going to be the same exact tablet with the new tablet. While your old one's backwards compatible, you can't play those games on that tablet. You're going to need the new tablet. Well, and we know that whatever the new tablet, let's just say in your if this new one is something like your idea we already know whatever's in the new tablet is going to be more powerful than what's in the current one yes and you're basically this this doc so even if we're not even if we're not getting let's say ps4 pro or better from that i mean there's rumors out there now that possibly maybe we don't know these might be fake too We're, we're talking somewhere around ps4 graphics yeah yeah for this so thing. so the doc i guess I, I've, I've done a I botched this explanation, I'm sure. But the dock itself for this new Switch U2 is essentially an external graphics card. That's really what it is. Okay, that makes, yeah, that that would make sense. Maybe like an external uh, graphics card with like a Raspberry Pi situation happening, right? So where they can run basic functions. But then when you dock it, you get in the full experience docked mode. And when you undock it, you're getting a lesser experience, kind of like how the Switch tablet is right now. 
right? So these new games can be ported. They just will get it because the tablet itself is upgraded. You'll get lesser features similar to how the Switch is currently and with most of its games. But when you dock it, that's the difference. The, the Switch doesn't, when you dock the Switch as it stands right now, the Switch is the same identical experience just on a bigger TV. Maybe the resolution changed a little bit. But when with this new thing, when you dock it, it's a brand new experience, upgrade experience to, uh, to kind of cater to the docked people. Okay, so why this isn't why this isn't completely crazy? Something you have to go back and remember too is that the switch was, you know, after the Wii U, it was like okay, they had to do something, and they they were kind of in a hurry. I mean, that was a very short generator. The Wii U was in and out. They were okay, this is bad. We got to do something. The switch is basically off the shelf parts. You know, they didn't they didn't really know what was gonna happen. They didn't they clearly didn't put a lot of like, okay, we're gonna customize this. I mean, the, you know, the Tegra X one that they use is basically off the shelf. I mean, the sticks they use are like you can fi- buy those dime a dozen everywhere. You know what I mean? Yes. Like they're they're not anything special. The parts are not anything really special. Uh I don't think they're gonna do that again. I think whatever they're making, they are making whatever they're making, especially for but it's going to be for, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so to say that it could do all this stuff, I don't think is completely crazy because we, we do look at the switch and we kind of like limit our thoughts of what it could be just because of what the switch is, but you kind of got to remember where they were at when they were making the switch. It wasn't like, all right, let's, let's th- like, we know this is going to work. Let's throw, let's throw the kitchen sink at it. This is something they could actually do that with. We already know everybody loves the switch. It's millions of them out there. Everybody loves the Switch. They could be like, here's the new one. And now we've got a new way to switch. Dual screen mode. You've got handheld mode. You've got docked mode. You've got tabletop mode. And now you've got dual screen mode. New way to switch. More power. What more do they need to talk about? Like all the stuff you love about the Switch, only it's twice as powerful. And it's got another way to play. Here's new games for it. All your old games work. And they look better. Have fun. Also, it's yep. five hundred dollars. <laughs> Someone joked about. Uh, I mean, now this is not the same switch that I had. This my my idea switch here is not the same switch. But remember, we did with Zach. We did our our switch things. Our our switch. Uh, yes. Our perfect switches. Someone joked in the comments that my switch would be seven hundred dollars, which I saw likely that. likely. I yeah. mean, come on. I, I had VR in it. I had 1080p screen. I was I was I was pushing power in that thing. Yeah, it probably would be seven hundred bucks. Seven hundred bucks. This switch, however, I really think they can. It can come. It can. The price points there. Okay, I think for four hundred bucks for the sixty four gig model, and five hundred bucks for a higher gig model. Hopefully, it's two fifty. That it, while it's funny, we can laugh at the four chan thing. I still think that that's actually a, a similar price point. And here's why it's not crazy to, for that price point to be to hit for Nintendo to hit that price point where you could buy a PS4 digital for 400 and a PS5 regular for 500. Here's how it's not crazy. Number one, you have the capability of going portable. That's not something a PS5 can do, no matter what you do. Nothing you can do about that. Number two, the power is less than the PS5, both versions. Yes. But you're there's you're getting stuff in the box. The dock actually does stuff this time. It's an external graphics card. The Switch tablet is this is a similar tablet to last gen's tablet, but better performance in the tablet itself. It'll make third party games run on the system that previously the Switch could not have ported to it. So there, and also third thing, don't th- forget about this. They're raising prices on PS5 on Xbox. It's happening. They're not lowering those prices as the system gets older. They're raising those prices. The well, switch, the switch. Add this console to the switch family. Make yeah. it backwards compatible in all senses. You can use it as controller. You can't play Switch U2 games on the Nintendo Switch, but you can use it as a controller for the next system. Well, and and even if even if that's even if that's crazy for you and you think that's never going to happen, let's just say that, let's just say let's just erase that. Erase that from the, the from the from the, the mindset here. It's still plausible. That your old Switch games will play in this new system, and this new system has a new upgraded tablet that can be used as a screen or on its own, but on its own has lesser graphics. But when you dock it, you get enhanced graphics, something the Switch currently cannot do and is a big selling point. Not to mention the fact that new way to play, like you so eloquently said, new way to play makes so much sense. That's what what Nintendo does. The new way to play is a dual screen game. 
Yeah, that's, that's the new, the way new to play. switch. But another thing on price, something you're saying. Another reason it, it kind of works is you're talking about you're talking about the switch, which is basically old technology. They're going to upgrade some stuff, but they're not going to be using cutting edge stuff, right? No, no. And then we're software, talking about software enhancements going to be a big deal in this next console. Okay, and we're talking about adding in things to make it do another thing that they did already. This technology is very old. We already seen them do it with the Wii U. It's done. It's not like it's something new, cutting edge that they have to put a bunch of money into. They've already done it. They did they it have. ten years ago. And that, let me tell you something, Drip. They have a ton of stock. They can they can reuse parts if they have to. If it if it runs kind of off the same type of thing, I guess to to get it the from wi- one the place Wi-Fi to the other stuff, you know that whatever I mean, whatever they use to get it from one place to the other. Because that's the thing too. I don't know if you've noticed, but like, it is very uh, it is very responsive as far as like tablet to what's going on on screen. Like I think it's. Snap. It's snappy, yeah. Like it works well. Whatever it is, I don't know how that works. Within like, twenty you know. feet, once you get twenty-one feet, it's like, no, nah, bro. No, you can't Just do take, anything. Take yeah. a step. Take a step back. <laughs> you have a no, piece of junk. Take a in step forward. No, come, come back. Come back. <laughs> it's like a dog with a shot collar. I'm like, don't get too close to that fence. You're yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's what I'm saying. Like, the, the you're right. The price is there, and that's something Nintendo does. They use old things in new ways. I mean, th- that's what they do. IR sensors. Like all the stuff they were doing with the motion control, with the like that wasn't new at the time. They just took something old and used it in a very original way. That's that's what they do. They could take all these pieces and put them together and do what you're saying. I think I still think it's a great idea. I'd love to see something like that. I'm yeah. sure Nintendo could work out the the details a little bit better than we can here because obviously we don't know. But uh. I see. I feel like it's something that could be done. I think it could be done. I think it's very possible. I think they can even hit the price point. I, I really do. It's going to be a stretch, but guess what? So was the Switch when it came out. It was a stretch. It I was. Mean, they, 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 they had to really narrow down what they were doing with it. You know, cost-cutting measures and everything like that. You know, it, it's possible. It's so possible. And we're obviously joking about the name, especially the U2 part. Um, there's no way in hell they're going to the call Switch this thing. The Switch U2 is perfect. No. There's no way my idea is going to, they're going to actually go, yeah, and we'll also, we'll rebrand it similarly as the Wii U because that was a good idea. I mean, no, they'll never, they'll never do that because th- th- they're going to make you think that the Wii U never, ever happened. And they're going to take what was good about this console that failed because there was plenty good about it, including the game library, which is all on Switch. And the, 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 the tech itself was pretty damn cool and ahead of its time. It was also, as, as many things that were ahead of its time, it was enough far behind that it just couldn't make the cut. And now is the time to really make this console shine, uh, do it proud, I should say. Whereas, you know, didn't do itself proud and in, in, at its time, but it yeah. is now. Well, time. And that's the thing too. They're going to have to brand it when they, yeah, the, the, you no. out the way, no way. Oh, not even a question. Because even if they use this same kind of technology, they're going to have to spin this and brand it in a way where it doesn't look like a Wii U. Yes. You know what I mean? They can't, they can't make it look like, Oh, it's a, Wii U. Oh no. Well, which is actually going to be pretty easy because they didn't even make the Wii U look like the Wii U. They made the Wii U look like a controller for the week. Right. So, I, I mean, I don't know. It's possible. It's very possible. It's very interesting. They must have they the need idea. to learn from their old mistakes. Love yeah. the idea. Jeev, I, I love it so much. I just want to give you a round of applause. It's a fantastic idea. Give it up for our guy. I love your face when you make a sound effect over there. Your, your cheeks come to your eyeballs. You're smiling so high. <laughs> and you're just it. so proud of yourself when you think I, you made it funny. I did. That was funny. <laughs> that was nice. It was good. Um, yeah. Speaking of things that are nice and good, we're going to get off of that and uh, finish off this podcast by, you know, those of you who are left watching, I, you know, you probably stop. When I open my mouth, you probably stop watching. Let's be honest. Um, but, you know, we're going to finish off this podcast with a big fat thank you. We're going to yeah. thank you guys because we've had it, this is a this is our chance to kind of relive 2023 the halfway point of 2023 which somebody, remember in june it was last month i had said there was the halfway point and like people there was comments that were making fun of me like it's not the halfway point bro you 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 messed up i'm like i did mess up that would be july J- july some july 1st would be the halfway point not june yeah 1st. is it wait this is the sixth month right that's right. After the yes. completion of this, no, no, this is the seventh month. Seventh after the month. completion okay. of yeah, 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 after yeah, the yeah. completion of the sixth month, 
is the halfway point, which is July 1st. That's the halfway point, not June 1st. Anyway, okay. at the halfway point here of the year. Glad we got that cleared up. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was funny. Uh, at the halfway point, uh, we can kind of relive and look back at the year that just happened. Um I have some general analytics that I put down on the screen here. Just some, you know, for, no, first and foremost, the most recent thing, we just became partners on YouTube. Drip. Yeah, yeah, we did. We sure did. <laughs> All right. Thank you Love to everyone. that. Thank, Thank you, you to guys so much. Yeah, but seriously, on a serious note, Thank you guys for, for that. We could not have done, obviously, could not have done it without you guys. You know, we started the year around 400 subs. And now we're we're touching 600, and we're not even we're, we're you know we're just past the halfway point. So thank you guys for letting us double basically like what we gained 50 percent of our audience here this year. Uh, yeah, that, whatever the numbers are. Yeah, thank you guys. That the ton ton of that's big deal. That that's really big for us to be able to get fan funding in, involved in all this and be YouTube partners. That's awesome. Really appreciate you guys for that. Yeah. Um, and as I said a second ago, I'll say it again. We got past. We have set a goal that this year would be 500 subs. Drip and I were like, we got to get to 500 subs this year. We were, like we have to because at that point our sub growth was not very good and we're like we got to do this and we surpassed that and it, we're, we're, and we got to the halfway point and we've surpassed that and we're still going so thank you guys for for all the subs this year uh some audio um uh, uh, uh positive things for you audio listeners we have basically not quite but basically doubled our audience on that's the audio crazy side of things that is crazy yeah. like I, i'm really happy that this happened too because we talked about I mean, there's more to talk about here, but we talked about this last year. Towards the end of the year, we were like, okay, if we're going to do this, if we're actually going to do this, we have, to, we have to start actually doing this. And I feel like you've said it several times, and I feel like you're right. This has been like our first two seasons. We're kind of like, we're figuring it out. We're, we're trying to figure it out. Oh, we're yeah. trying to get, I feel like this year we've really hit that. Like, we got it. We haven't missed a week. We haven't missed nope. one week. We have that's another milestone. We we set a goal that this whole year we're gonna we, we know obviously still, there's still a year left here. But we're gone we're gone. I'm, I'm going on vacation. We're taking time off and we're not missing a week. And not only we're not not missing a week, but there's multiple videos and and and, 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 and podcasts audio episodes coming out on my week. Uh, yeah, when, I'm when be you're away. not even gonna be yeah, we're not we, we're not only we're not only not missing, but we're actually giving you some additional content as well. So I mean that like the, for this episode for example this is not this is something we would not have done before and we're no. doing it now because well, like and we, that's, we're, you know, we're that's committed not true. we're committed to to an episode every single I week I will say this no what Jeep has not missed a week I missed a few Oh yeah you did miss a week there was there was a few points where I missed that yeah yeah yeah, 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 well, yeah. early listen, in the year I missed some weeks and, and listen so uh, hopefully knock on wood something doesn't happen to me where I have to miss some time as well but you know some, you had to miss some time and it's understandable I don't think know? I could do it without you I don't think I can do this without <laughs> you I can't you can do it without me I can I don't think I could put this show on without you new goal for 2023 for the rest of the year we have to get drip to do at least two podcast intros successfully <sighs> wow new goal setting it right now maybe starting next week drip right, well, listen, we'll practice do we'll the practice intro. in the after that's what we'll do for the after show we'll practice yeah. that we'll yeah see what we so do. that's a new goal we gotta get drip get, get self-sufficient over here drip. you gotta be able to do this yourself i don't want to do it without you jeeb I, uh, you gotta drive you, I mean, you drive all the time you just you're nervous about the words and i don't know why i don't know why you're so nervous about the words it's just words man i'm not nervous about the words i just don't remember them you gotta you come up with <laughs> stop it uh you gotta come up with something listen, i i messed up the intro for two solid years in a row man you did. Because it just it takes time to build it. I get it. Yeah, Trust and me. I love I get being it. able to give you shit for that every yeah. single yeah. week. I mean, yeah. I feel like it was kind of like a it was kind of like a thing. It was kind of our thing. Yes, you know? it you, was. You messed the intro up. I gave mm -hmm. you shit for it. Yeah, and now it's gotta it's, laugh. It we don't do that anymore. I'm too good well, at it. Well, yeah, you just you just do it right now. Uh so I think I think we'll we'll warm you up first. We'll butter you up first. Instead of doing big intros, we'll get you doing outros. And once we once you get good at outros. Mm. Then you'll I do, don't want to do outros. I can do intros better. I don't believe you. Um, <laughs> I could for sure. Outro, I don't even know. Intro, at least I have a pretty good idea of what you do in the intro. Yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that in a bit. And also, one more thing on the audio side, audio side of things. We we basically just in general, the, the, you know, we basically double, but not quite. But the biggest thing is that those of you who are listening, who are like maybe were fringe listeners, we'll say, who come in maybe once a month just like to check us out. It seems like most of you guys are the are coming in every week now. We got you. We sucked you into our our dumb little thing we got going on here, and you're listening to us or watching us every week. Well, in this case, we're listening. You guys, I'm talking about audio analytics. You guys mm -hmm. are listening to us every week. You got us on auto download, and and it, it really helps us out. And you guys are listening, and it's awesome. Thank you guys for those of you who were on the fringe before. For real. 
and for like real. you're actually you're sticking around for the thing. You even join some live streams uh, as well to say hi to us, which I I uh, endorse. If you guys want to come and say hi, if you're audio people only, come say hi to us in the live stream. We, we're, we're yeah, friendly. the live stream is that's the whole point. We we love to do this live. I mean, I yeah, like you know, we talked about doing this one tonight, not live, and I was not excited about that. Yeah, I was I wasn't too thrilled about it either. So we're, I'm glad we did this for our Discord people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, so audio side of things we we or uh, video side of things YouTube we have done shorts. I didn't quite hit my goal of an episode every day, <laughs> which let's be honest, that was a high bar. That, which dude, I was, yeah, that was. I mean, um, I a did. I will a be. Week I'll, would be fine. I'll be honest. I burnt myself out with that. That's why I haven't. It's been so long. I was doing it every pretty much every day. I even got sick. I was like, I was in the bathroom on the floor for a day straight. And that during that time, this is a while ago. Remember during that short yeah. time, yeah. I even I still managed to get my ass in this chair and get an episode or a, a YouTube short made because I was trying to. That's how dedicated I was to the idea. I, I I was really sick and I was very dedicated to this idea. So, um, I want to get back to that. I want to get back to more YouTube shorts. Maybe some second half of twenty twenty three thing, one a week minimum. I think we need. I need to start. I need. That's something I need to do. I need to start getting us some YouTube shorts. Minimum once a week. I can do that. There's no excuse. I can do that. Um. So yeah, but that's actually negative. We're not. We're only talking about positives here. Um. But we did. We did YouTube shorts. That's something I have that's a, a positive. I have a sad sound. Do you want me to play it? No. Okay. You do sure? Not. Yes. I can do it right now. Don't do it. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> For the YouTube shorts, it's fine. Sorry. Go ahead. You were saying. Uh, and we had some guests. We had some new guests on this year, which we wanted to do. We wanted to kind of yes, network and, and, and we need meet to do some more, people. more yes, we, guests. We do need more, more guests. Need more. I think the second um, half of the year we should try to double the amount of guests we had in the first half of the year. I would agree with that. So we, you know, thanks to Zach and thanks to um uh all, what's his name? Um, his D Rock. D Rock yeah, always uh, all um, things all things Zelda. Thank you to you two for being our, our brand new guests for this year. Yeah, and we I hope had Shibby on too. Yeah, we, I mean, yeah, but brand new guests. And as far as returning people like Shibby, thank you for 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 hopping on this year as well. We really do appreciate you guys for that. Um, and have, plan to have you guys back on as well as some new people. We really we love to network. We want to meet some new people in the content space. Yeah, and uh, actually, now, now that we're talking about this, if there's anybody out there that you guys think would be a good guest, uh, let us know in the comments of either the YouTube video or on Twitter. wherever Twitter, Twitter is the way you contact us right now. Oh, it's might, it, be, might, be, might, might be, might be, it's been for a while, but might okay. be threads. That, whatever. Might, might uh, be threads. <laughs> either way, do that. That would be yeah. great. Do that. Right at you. At Drip Jeep on Twitter. We, that, that's us. That's our handle. Find us over there. Tell us who you want. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bitch, listener, we, 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 I didn't even check for Listener Beer of the Week this week. That's my bad. Didn't even think about that. We'll do that mm. on th this Thursday. Yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, we'll do it this Thursday. It's fine. Yeah, so for, that'll be in the past for you guys. Um, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, Drip. I mean, just uh, again, one one more little thank you to everybody who supported us through 2023. And we still have half the year to go. Uh, have not met our goals yet because the year's not over. But once we hit that, I'm assuming on this current track we're doing, uh, we're gonna hit our goals. We're going to. Um, I think we're actually gonna exceed a lot of our goals. We are already have exceeded some of our goals for this year. Yeah, we have. And we'll, great. And we'll continue to do that. So the the second half this episode was just kind of reserved for you guys who let's be honest 90 percent people click off after the first two minutes of this episode i can see the youtube analytics like <laughs> there's not i mean like lots of people click but only you guys who really matter are listening right now we appreciate you guys uh for for that for hanging around for listening to our episodes listening to our stupid banter like most of this episode was for at least for me i was very stupid this episode i apologize um but yeah guys drip anything else for you man um <laughs> well you know I hope you're having a great vacation right now. Hope you're enjoying I, the sand. Oh, yeah. oh, um, I will. I will probably still be here. So probably that. Probably uh, you did just take a week that. off though with the kids. That I was did. Cool. I did take a week off with the kids. Yeah, that was that was much needed. I feel feel a lot better. Ready to go. Got a video film last night. Edited by this morning. Yep. And I'm gonna film some more. Maybe not. I was gonna do something. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm just gonna have a nice early night. Nothing wrong with that, man. Go to bed. To be start to be happy and relaxed is way better than stressed and and, and overachieving. Yeah, I I think what I'm gonna do is just get up in the morning and record one. Then doesn't matter. Do that, man. Uh, I mean, the early. I will say this though: <laughs> the earlier you get it to me, the better, because tomorrow will be Wednesday, <laughs> and I'm only available yeah, to edit for well, you the next, you'll, next you'll three have, or four days. You'll have two more tomorrow. There'll be two more in there. 
Don't worry. Beautiful, beautiful drip. Uh, cool, guys. Well, uh, I, I would say we'll see you this Thursday, but, you know, for this one, we're going to see you on August 4th. That's going to be a Friday. That's going to be our next, as far as this episode's concerned, our next live episode. These, these bush peaches. They are Thank getting you, burp. me, dude. They, make they are burp making me burp, man. And I'm, I, sure. I already have a bad indigestion. I, I, I can't. This is have true. This, have this episode was me having a burp right here. Yeah, <laughs> this thing I'm drinking, this uh, <laughs> Vizzy thing, my beer yeah. of the week. Yes, very, very burpy. It's very fizzy, burpy. right? Wouldn't it, it just, you say? It, it, it's not fizzy. It's Vizzy. <laughs> very busy. busy. Uh, yeah. So as far as you guys are concerned, this Friday, the August fourth, will be. That's uh, actually next week for you guys. Next week, August fourth, will be the next time you Drip and I are live. You know, back in our homes, right where I am sitting right now. That's for you guys. But uh, as far as you guys are hanging on Discord, we'll hang out for a few more minutes. Check out there. We'll stick Ben, say hi to you, say goodbye to you, and all that good stuff. Those of you listening, thank you for listening to this uh, banter episode. Hopefully, it was somewhat entertaining. It uh, was. And we'll, <laughs> and, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Later.